The ICOM 705, the Signal Stuff Signal Stick. Today on KMRD Radio Stuff, I'm going to show you how to get these two star cross lovers to play nice together. Stay tuned. Now, as we learned in my last video on the Signal Stuff antennas, I am a huge fan, but they do mention it not being the best for the 705. Well, I'm going to show you how to make it work. Very, very simple, very, very cost effective, might take you five minutes of your time and you'll be on the air. So let's check it out. Now, first I wanna demonstrate just how bad the signal stick is with the 705. So here is the signal stick that we're gonna be using. This is a BNC, super elastic signal stuff signal stick that we are going to attach to our 90 degree mount like such. And we'll key up and show you how bad it is. The meter is set for SWR and we'll key up and look at that. That is absolutely abysmal. Terrible SWR. Now how do we fix that? I'm going to show you. Guys, we're going to need two things. Three if you're OCD like me. Wire, a ring terminal or spade connector, some heat shrink tubing. We're going to make a counterpoise for this. This is going to be very easy. I've got some 26 gauge wire. The gauge is kind of irrelevant, but I like this 26 gauge wire. And we're gonna measure 19 inches. So there's zero, there's 19. We're gonna cut it. There is 19 inches of wire now. And we will take our wire strippers, strip off a little section of the wire. Insert into said terminal connector. Get some crimpers. We will crimp our connector. Always crimp and then solder. Crimp, crimp, crimp. Now we have a beautifully crushed connector that is tight. It's on there. Next, if you have these helping hands, they can be a help. If not, don't worry. Get some solder and a soldering iron. Grasp the connector thusly. Clean off the tip of your soldering iron. Tin your soldering iron. Apply heat to connector. Let the solder flow. Ah, yes. We have a nice, shiny, beautiful solder connection. Next, we're going to take a length of our heat shrink tubing. Let's say two centimeters-ish. Apply that to the wire. Slide it over the connector thusly. This is just for strain relief and OCD. You do not need to do this step. Apply heat to heat shrink until heat shrink is shrunk. Next, marvel at your accomplishment. Next, we are going to remove this screw with either a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. Mind the washers. And we are going to insert our counterpoise in the screw. Screw it back in. This would definitely be easier with a spade connector, but I didn't have any with me. But the principle is all the same. Now we can reattach our signal stuff, signal stick antenna. Power our radio on. Now we can key up. See, we're below three now. There's something about this bench that's really bad. If we move pretty much anywhere else, uh, we're gonna have a really great SWR, so let's take a look at that. Here's literally six feet away on my computer desk. Look at the SWR, we're 1.3, 1.4 maybe, if that. And just to show here, I unplugged the counterpoise wire and there goes the SWR to the roof. And here we are on my front porch. The counterpoise is not plugged in and we can see terrible SWR. And now we can see the yellow wire coming out. And look at that, 1.5-ish to one. It's definitely a little bit finicky, depending on where this counter, so now I'm holding it, just went up, let go, goes all the way back down, holding it, let go, and depending on where you place the counterpoise is gonna depend on how good your SWR is. But that is a fix, look at that, doesn't get much better than that. So there we have it, gang, a quick and easy way to get your beloved signal stuff, signal stick antenna, and our wonderful ICOM 705 radio to live together in perfect harmony, simply by adding a counterpoise. And maybe, uh, you know, that was about 15, 20 cents in parts, so <laughs> definitely up every ham's alley in terms of price. 
That's it, guys. That's all I wanted to show. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that uh, this helps even one of you guys, and that will warm the cockles of my heart. Until next time, thanks for watching another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.